kind of fish that can do that. Look at those teeth. Woo! Good job, good job. Woohoo! Yeah! Oh, the big Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to another episode of Hooked on OC right here on WMDT TV 47. We're here Sunday mornings at 7 a.m. We're trying to bring you some local fishing content, tournaments, and otherwise. And today, got a real special treat in store for you. We're going out with Captain Chris Miserak and mate Steve and Rich on board the Angler out of the Talbot Street Pier. You can see Captain Chris calls it my kind of day today. Beautiful flat calm seas. Sea bass fishing has been really, really good and the flounder are starting to snap a little bit too. So that's my kind of fishing. Absolutely love bottom fishing in the ocean. Today I've got my wife Kristen on board, my son Ryan and his good friend Owen West. We'll be right back after the break. Bottom fishing here on the Angler. We'll be right back. Hooked on OC. We'll be right back. Quiet Storm Surf Shop on the boardwalk has the largest selection of sunglasses on the East Coast. Over 800 pairs of coasters, including their new USA models to choose from. Hundreds of Oakley sunglasses, hats, and t-shirts. An enormous collection of Ray-Ban, Smith, Persol, Canon, Revo, and Maui Jim. Quiet Storm Surf Shop has the largest selection of main brand sunglasses. Visit Quiet Storm today. Sunset Marina is Ocean City's premier full-service marina resort. Sunset Marina is located just five minutes from the Ocean City Beach and Boardwalk. Sunset's charter fleet boasts the finest fleet of sport fishing boats in the Mid-Atlantic, all operated by Coast Guard licensed captains. One look at Sunset's amenities and you're hooked for good. Contact Sunset Marina today to book your fishing charter. Call 1-877-514-FISH. And now back for more Hooked on OC. All right, guys, we are back here at the Quiet Storm Surf Shop on North Division Street in downtown Ocean City. Once again, 32,000 square feet right here on the boardwalk, just steps from the boardwalk in the Atlantic Ocean. And what's going to happen here in Quiet Storm Surf Shop is you're going to see more Quiet Storm branded stuff than anything. Makes sense, right? We'll start with you, ladies. Look at these designs. Unbelievable selection of branded apparel. You got the wave design in a couple of different colors. You got the pineapple. You get down here to the big Q. Quiet Storm is awesome branded stuff. It makes for kids, ladies, men. Take another pan over here. Look at the skull design, that's awesome. I'm a low tide loner, aren't you? Sun and clouds, really, really cool stuff here. The Surf Life is a popular one here at Quiet Storm. And this is one of my favorites. Check out that white marlin hanging there. They also make this one in short sleeve and long sleeve tech. As you can see, the long sleeve and short sleeve tech stuff here on the east wall of Quiet Storm Surf Shop is super fresh. You got the hanging marlin design. You've also got this, it looks like one of my new favorites. That's the marlin scene. Really beautiful colors in that, looks great on white. And you don't want to forget your Quiet Storm hat. All of this stuff is $5 off all of the time and it goes perfectly with Costa sunglasses. All right, back at the Costa cabinet here at Quiet Storm Surf Shop on the east 
wall of the building. You got people shopping here right now, as a matter of fact, and it's all because of the color and selection. Check out Raphael in Tortoise. Fresh. Red and black. Seen that before? Rinconcito, another awesome pair. And then the bloke. Two-tone, black and tortoise on the bottom. They all come in 400 plastic to 580p in the glass. Awesome stuff and all available right here at Quiet Storm Surf Shop. North Division Street on the boards, 32,000 square feet of all things sand, surf, fish, and skate. See you in a minute. Hooked on OC, we'll be right back. Park Place Jewelers, we believe your true love should be wearing the brightest diamond in the room. Why do seemingly identical diamonds have a 70% difference in price? Park Place Jewelers is introducing the Bright Crystal Diamond, which is scientifically proven to be in the world's top 10% of all the world's brightest natural diamonds. Come into Park Place Jewelers and find out why from virtual reality to third-party validation and a GIA grading report, we will provide more buyer education and instill confidence in our customers that the Bright Crystal Diamond they are buying is a world-class diamond. Did you know you can bring in your prescription to an optical galleria? Did you know an optical galleria has a lab and makes glasses right here in OC? Did you know an optical galleria is an authorized Costa RX dealer? It's simple. An optical galleria can help you see. If you want awesome old school customer service and hot new styles, bring your prescription in to an optical galleria today. The place to see and be seen. Make an optical galleria your destination for eyewear. Atlantic Tackle, we know fishing. Atlantic Tackle is the Mid-Atlantic's most complete tackle store, showcasing a huge selection of rods and reels, bait and tackle, fishing apparel, eyewear, and ocean-inspired home decor from industry leaders like Penn, Shimano, Bait Masters, Costa, Smith Optics, Pelagic, Hook, Olakai, Extra Tough, and Yeti. Stop by Atlantic Tackle on Sunset Avenue across from Sunset Grill in West Ocean City or visit us online at AtlanticTackle.com. And now back for more Hooked on OC. Guys, we are here in the wheelhouse on the on board the Angler today. Captain Chris Mizrak, what's up, Peloton buddy? Hey, no, <laughs> you finished your 45, hey, hey, hey. Your, your 90 minute power zone last yep. night. <laughs> midnight, midnight. Glad we can joke about that. Uh, we're, we're here in the, in the wheelhouse, and today we're going uh, flounder fishing, sea bass fishing. Sea bass fishing this spring has been absolutely stellar, man. You guys have been catching the limits, a yeah. lot of different trips. We're starting good. to get into the warmer part of the summer, and that's when flounder is starting to act up. So Yeah, they just. Um, just showed up last two days. Last couple Start days. Pretty okay. good, so. uh, bay fishing for flounder is pretty good. I think we're having an overall good year for, yeah. for, for yep. flatfish, both in the bay and in the ocean. Rich and Steve, our mates, are going to be on the deck today helping everybody out. Um, we'll get some We'll get some video of everybody around the rail. But like I told you at the top of the show, uh, my wife Kristen's on board, uh, my son Ryan's on board, and my, his buddy Owen is on board. And it's their first trip out doing this kind of thing. So we wanted to pick a nice, calm day to do it. Captain Chris was gracious enough to dial this one up. It's absolutely beautiful out there. Uh, last year we tried that this with my good friend Dan Hackett, and uh, the ocean was heaving. Big swell. It wasn't only the ocean that was heaving. It wasn't the only thing. The ocean wasn't the only thing. It was heaving. That's the, I use that word on purpose, man. It was not a fun day. Headboats and I on swell seas do not get along. Um, so <laughs> glad we can laugh about it now, but 
Uh, looks like a beautiful day today. Are you, is, are you going to a secret spot today or what? Uh, not top secret, but okay. Yeah. Looks just uh, obviously, some obviously coral bottom. South a little bit. Okay, all right. A little coral bottom down to the south outside of Ocean City Inlet. We're going to show you a couple of setups. We'll show you the rental rod they use on board the angler here, and, uh, and then hopefully we'll catch some fish. All right, here we go. All right, so we got some couple of fish coming up over the rail already. Before we get going here, let's talk setup. Kristen and I are using our JPR custom rods, seven footer, medium heavy action. Got the nice colors involved and stuff. Let me get this up too. And we have our Canyon HS13 reels. We got 60 pound braid on both of these. And I'll show you the rig we're using. Don't have much current uh, working yet. Um, and when the current's sitting still like this, sometimes the fish don't bite as well. But it'll be moving shortly. And I'll show you the rig. This is our fishing OC double trouble. Two on here. It's the skirted rig, similar to the deadly double tied, just like it, except with no spinner blades. It's got the skirt. I'm using the green. And we've got gulp on both these hooks. That's the uh, five inch salmon red grub tail. And that's the five inch white swimming mullet. We've got a couple of different colors, different versions to see what these fish like this morning. Got some more fish come. Oh, a netter behind us, a netter behind us. We got a netter, let's get it. Absolutely beautiful weather today. <clears throat> Flounder showed up the past couple days and fishing's been pretty good. So we're hoping for a little bit of current. That little guy looks like he's got a pretty good one on. I got one. Yeah, that's a nice sea bass. I wouldn't find an issue with the reel. Absolutely. What's the problem? Oh, I can't reel. Hooked on OC. We'll be right back. You wouldn't buy an ordinary chair for the beach. So why would you buy an ordinary air conditioner for the beach? Arctic Air Coastal Series, built for the beach. We catch a lot of fish here at Hooked On OC, and my JPR custom rods are nothing but the best. Some of the finest inshore, offshore, casting, spinning, and trolling rods on the planet today. Custom rods, custom logos, all at unbeatable prices. Go to JPRrods.com. Hey guys, what's up? We're here with Luke from Sandmarks Marketing. He's here to tell us all about this awesome guy he's got ready for you to pick up in town. Luke, what's up? Hey Scott, how you doing? Thanks. Luke Howard from Sandmarks Marketing here to introduce the premier edition of uh, Destination Ocean City in the Delaware Beach. Got a great golf guide in here. Of course, you got something for the fishermen. I do. I also have spa, salon, and attractions for the wife and family, too. We're a comprehensive overview of the entire Delmarva area. Pick it up in your hotel room while you're in town. Look for the beach chair and you'll be there. Tipsy Tiki is a floating tiki bar, the only one in the Ocean City area that is Coast Guard certified for 12 passengers with a Maryland State liquor license. Great for bachelor, bachelorette parties, and birthdays, anniversaries. Enjoy a calm cruise in the backwaters behind Assateague Island in Ocean City. The cost is $70 per person, which includes a 90-minute cruise and full bar service. You can bring your own food or you can call Crab Alley for carryout. Check us out at Facebook or our website at tipsytiki.com. Call 443-606-0822. Our friendly crew is ready to welcome you aboard. How much protection from the beach would you need to match the Arctic Air Coastal Series air conditioner? Still not enough. Arctic Air Coastal Series, built for the beach. And now back for more Hooked on OC. Hey, 
Daryl, is that a keeper? What? Yeah. Uh, no. <laughs> doctor, doctor. I'll switch my rig and put some bait on it again. Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, I'm, I'm doing it. Really working. I must have had one. What's up? I got it. Hooked on OC. We'll be right back. Featuring the finest and largest fleet of charter boats in the Mid-Atlantic region, the Ocean City Fishing Center has been the premier spot for offshore sports fishing for four decades. Whether it's a family outing, a corporate event, or just a day on the water with your friends. All our charters are led by Coast Guard licensed captains and most knowledgeable crews dedicated to helping you catch the big one. Call us today and book your charter. We accommodate groups of all sizes. The Ocean City Fishing Center. The locals know it's the best place to go. Hey everybody, looking for what's going on in and around Ocean City? Pick up the dispatch. 25,000 copies in over 200 locations all around Delmarva and the Fishing OC Fishing Report by yours truly with pictures from Dave Messick and some of the best captains in the biz. Pick it up. Racetrack Marine, the area's premier Tidewater center console and Sylvan pontoon boat dealer. In stock or custom order Tidewater starting at 18 feet and Sylvan pontoons up to 27 feet. Service, maintenance, and trailers. Find it all here at Racetrack Marine. We buy, broker, and sell pre-owned boats too. Deep discounts and the best stem to stern warranty available. Say goodbye to last year's boat repairs. Stop dreaming and start boating today. Racetrack Marine, the place that does it all. You know Miller Lite only has one more calorie, right? Ah, and more taste! And now back for more Hooked on OC. Guys, what's up? Welcome back. Thank you for tuning into this episode of Hooked on OC every Sunday morning, 7 o'clock. We're right here. One of the popular things that we do during the summer season is we're at restaurants all the time. And one of our spots is the Harborside Bar and Grill right here on Harbor Road, West Ocean City, right around the corner from the Hooked on OC studios. Sunset Marina is in the background right behind us. The food is absolutely awesome. And now that things are easing up, they're seating inside. This yep. guy is back in the kitchen. Moose. Yeah, what's up, bro? Welcome back, bro. How you doing? How's everything going, man? Good, good, kitchen, good. Kitchen managing stuff, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 That's awesome. Uh, everything's good, you know, busy. 
Nice to be back open, right? It is nice to be yeah. back open. I was getting a little stir crazy. <laughs> we all have been, man. We all have been. But now, thankfully, we're allowed indoor seating. Yep. You guys have these awesome dock spaces yep. outside here. Um, crushes are flowing coming out the door. Oh, my God. So we got some great tournaments coming up this yep. season. I'm sure you guys will be packed for those as people get into town. And I'm looking, I'm thinking I'm looking at shrimp tacos. You and I'm not are, sure if Bobby sir. told you, but I love shrimp tacos. Oh, I know, no, no. This is, it's just because I wanted to make you something good. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> All right, so here we go. We're going to start with 1620 shrimp. Oh, the big ones. Yeah. yeah. That's like a large size, right? Yes. Okay. And then just throw them in the pan, cook them up. There's just a little salt and pepper on them. Okay. Nothing too fancy. Nothing crazy, right? Yep. Just give them a little bit of, let the flavors come yep. out. Yeah, let's I get can help that you out. out. Yeah, yep. thank you, sir. Yep. I don't need most of this armpit hair, so I'd oh, just hey, let it luckily sizzle it's not off like this fire. <laughs> oh, we've had fires. We've had yeah. fires. We've had hot grease on skin. Yeah. Um, it's Look. never a dull moment over here. You know, it's cooking. not like, you know, pan frying soft shell. No. <laughs> no. Not even close when the, when the juice comes out of those. Yeah. Popping on That's your dangerous. Skin. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, uh, I don't know if, if uh, Bobby said anything about our menu being limited right now. Absolutely, everybody yeah. is. Yeah, yeah. But it's gonna, you're going to come in here and you're going to get the menu that's yeah. available right yeah. now, right? For sure. This will be one of the things. Yes. Okay. And it's a lot of the you know traditional favorites from Harborside. Yep. Other than pastas, because gotcha. you know it's hard to get help. Right Sautés are tough, <laughs> yes, man. You yeah. got a whole line of stuff coming, trying yep. to go out there, and you got to put noodles on it and sauté yep. and shrimp and scallops and all that stuff. So, yep. harborside pasta might be a little bit wild, but you hey, want a burger? Got you plenty. got it. Yep. Shrimp tacos, you got it. Got shrimp tacos, fish tacos, yep. chipotle tuna. Chipotle you tuna. Got it. That's another good one. A lot of salads you guys do. Yep. No problem. All the salads yep. are on there. And then, you know, our Crab Imperial is back on. That wasn't on when we first opened, so that's back on. So that's always a popular one. That's good. Yeah. And then let them cook for just a second. Yeah. Then we're going to hit them with this Chipotle Demi Glaze. We had that in the last segment yep. with Bobby. What's what's on the uh, on the taco? All right. Well, we got two soft tortillas. Yep. We got some seasoned cabbage. And then we got banana peppers, fresh diced tomatoes, and fresh mango salsa. Yeah, that mango salsa is a hit, man. It's yeah. nice. It's really sweet. Yep. I, I, Last time when we were leaving here, I got a to-go box, and I told Bobby, man, that pineapple is awesome in that mango <laughs> salsa. He's like, there is no pineapple, you idiot. It's called mango salsa. <laughs> yeah, but it's all good. We all make mistakes. Yeah, well, it's, it's it's yellow. Yep. It's firm and crunchy. Yep. And it's very, very sweet. Yep. So, and I'm an idiot, so he, he oh. nailed it. <laughs> nah, I wouldn't call you an idiot. I think I appreciate yeah. that. That makes one of us. You're, you're a better fisherman than me, I can tell you that Well, much. listen, man. That's why you're cooking and I'm fishing. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> you just gave me a really cool uh, tip on newbies cooking shrimp. When, yeah. when can you tell they're done? Uh, when the tail touches the head, generally they're always done. So when they've curled around yeah. enough to touch like and that, then they're finished. If, you know, when they'll keep cooking. Sure. And then they're going to get really tough get tough and chewy. Tough, right. And you're not going to like them. Right on. But, so let's place these on here. Three uh, shrimp per taco. Three is shrimp per taco. That's almost too much. Yep. <laughs> And I know this is in the end of it. What's in, oh hold on? Oh, yeah, that's what this is probably for, right? That is exactly what that's for, sir. What, what is this? Seafood sauce, house-made seafood sauce. Uh, ingredients: uh, mayonnaise, jo, pineapple juice, sugar, and a little bit of mustard and hot sauce. And, the, and one secret ingredient. Yeah, and it just throws did, people yeah, off so I they don't think they can get it from yeah. Like that. <laughs> <laughs> and then we'll just drizzle it like that. Oh. And there we go. Oh, There's our shrimp this taco. This is what you were going for, Dave. Chipotle shrimp <laughs> taco. <laughs> oh my word. Can you see the steam? I'll come for a little closer view. Look at the steam coming off of those. It's probably gonna burn my mouth. Oh, it might, but, might I'm, a little bit. I'm alright with it. It'll be alright. It's too big, so watch this. Yeah, that's yeah, there you go. There you go. Mm. I think that's what the third one's for. Actually. What's in that fish sauce or in that uh, fish sauce? Uh the seafood sauce? Mmm. It's yeah. good, yeah. Oh my God. It's good. Now the whole thing together is amazing. <laughs> it's good stuff. Oh, home run. <laughs> this is on the menu all the time. Yes, that stays Guys, on the menu. Wow. This is not a replacement for the Harborside seafood pasta, <laughs> but it's a pretty good alternative. This is absolutely delicious. Yep. The fish sauce, seafood sauce, whatever you want to call it on these shrimp, the sweetness of the cabbage on there, this is a home run, bro. Goes really good with orange crush. Hmm. <laughs> Everything does. And this is where you can get them. Yep. Harborside Bar and Grill, West Ocean City. 
You won't have a bad bite of food. <laughs> Moose, take us to the break. Uh, take us to the break, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Two seconds. This is awesome. Hooked on OC, we'll be right back. One of the shore's best kept secrets is a secret no more. Ocean Pines Golf and Country Club is home to the only Robert Trent Jones Senior Championship Golf Course on the Eastern Shore. Ocean Pines is set amongst natural wetlands and scenic woodlands, making it a must play. Experience golf as it was meant to be played. Call 410-641-6057 or visit us online at oceanpinesgolf.org to book your tee time today. This is Rick Meehan, Mayor of Ocean City, Maryland, and I'm thrilled to invite you to once again visit our beautiful beach and boardwalk. But I need to ask you a favor. When you come to town, please remember to continue social distancing and be sure to follow all the safety guidelines we have in place. Let's make this a summer to remember in a year we'll never forget. Go to OCOcean.com to learn more about how we're keeping Ocean City safe. Pure lure, baby, pure lure. Are you looking for the best crabs on this side of the Chesapeake Bay? Then head on over to Crabs to Go on the corner of Route 50 and 589. For over 20 years, Crabs to Go has been bringing you the fattest, tastiest crabs on the eastern shore available by the bushel or by the dozen. We also offer a full menu including shrimp, clams, oysters, scallops, lobster tails, crab meat, and soft crabs. Call ahead for fast, hot carryout. Or stop by for our homemade crab cakes, soups, and salads. This is where the locals come. Crabs to Go, Routes 50 and 589, West Ocean City. And now, back for more Hooked on OC. First fish off the first fish in the ocean? Yeah. Seriously? Yeah. This is your first ever like ocean fish? Yeah. Love it. All right, they make it real simple here on the angle. Congratulations, first of all. Thanks. There you go, man. Yeah. Beautiful day, couldn't pass up this weather. Look at the blue in this in this male's head. Pretty awesome how they get blue up on the top of the head, blue purplish color. They got to be 12 and a half inches out here from the nose to the tip of that long tail there. And they got it real easy right here marked off on the side of the boat. So if I'm in between the blue here, if I go closed mouth, boom, boom, that's a 13 inch fish. And that one's good for the cooler. Yeah. What do you think, man? Mom and dad got some sea bass fillets yeah. coming home. <laughs> Yeah, Mrs. Lennox. She's got the hat. Yeah. Trying. Yeah, Mrs. Lennox. Looking for 12 and a half inches. Come on now. Still got them on here? Well, we'll see. Yeah, it's a oh, little yeah, one. A one. Okay, that's all right. All right, Jerry here next to us put it perfectly. So if you get bit twice, it's gone if you don't get set the hook in. That is a back bay sea bass right there. You're going to see them bigger on the south jetty now. It's probably 8 inches, 9 inches, need 12 and a half. Oh, thanks. First sea bass, that's like your first sea bass yeah. slash bottom fish yeah. in the party boat, right? That's right. Yeah, welcome to the party, buddy. Rocking the pure lure gear too, man. I like it. Look at that. 
All right, check them on that rail. Don't drop them overboard. Yeah. You make it? Yeah. yeah, man. All right, right in that cooler behind Merce. Okay. Right. Nice. <laughs> All right, so Captain Chris had a great idea. Um, flounder, flounder aren't coming up like we uh, thought they would be to start, so we're switching tactics. We're taking the uh, double trouble rig off. A little bit too extensive. The, the uh, glitter on there, they weren't being attracted to because it's mainly sea bass coming over. So we're switching over to our double header top and bottom rig. Um, another great rig we have on the fishing OC line. Here's what's cool about it. It's your basic top and bottom rig. Uh, just a little J hook on here, putting squid on the bottom of this one. Here's what's cool about it. I can switch this back. What we've done is instead of putting a, a snelled hook on, we've just done a loop. So basically what I can do is I can adjust this, pull the loop off, take my hook off, put a squid on or take a squid off, which is what I'm doing in this case. Go right back through the loop or through the eye of the hook with my leader loop. I can see it. Eyes ain't what they used to be, folks. Is this comical yet? <laughs> I'm gonna dry my hands off. Because line snapped. <laughs> Dave, you can be choose. You could choose to be <laughs> as nice or as mean as you want to be. As I fumble with this hook. There we go. See, simple as that. Did you get it? All right. So back on. Boom. There we go. And now I'm gonna put shiners on this side. That's a bummer. And now I'm ready for sea bass fishing instead of flounder. And if we start seeing some more flounder come up over the rail, I'll switch back to that double trouble rig. Hey, I'm not gonna give her keeper status. That uh, does look We're short. Look at it, but you, got, you got that? You got Ooh. that or am I doing this? I don't know. Fit thumb in the mouth? There's aren't any spines, right? Oh, there are in the back. Well right. then why don't you do it? Okay. Oh, hold on, hold on. I think he showed me one time, but we don't catch these very often, so I don't really know how I'm to it, I'm hanging in the background. Do it. Said. I'm There's a little one. There's some little ones down there. Come on, I'm trying to get them on it. I got a tough piece of squid on there. Oh, got it. Oh, you can see my bait, too. I think so. All right. I think so. Yeah, nice oh. job. Okay. Okay. Let's see. There you go. Oh yeah, he's short. Ten and a half. Like there. Yep. Yeah, not gonna make it. See, bud. All right, getting closer though. So she caught one nine inches. She caught one ten inches. We got about two and a half more fish, and she's twelve and a half inches. So we're <laughs> we're getting there we're slowly. Getting working our way up. Yeah. Yeah, man. Brian, I think you and I are the only fishless guys. Maybe I'll pull a boat. There he is. Way to go, West. Here he's over behind. Here we go. Here, let's keep up here. I'll pop it off for you. Back in the water. Very nice. Yeah, Jerry. That was gonna make it. Don't make it. I got a good tip. He said, as soon as it hits the bottom, get ready. And then that's what happened. It hit the bottom. I set the hook. Look at the form. Their there knees, we go. knees locked into the gunnel. <laughs> Great. Oh no, not another short. That was probably 11 inches. I told you. All right, I'm working my way up. <laughs> Trying. Oh look, another nice hook. Right. Yeah, good job. Here you go. I'm gonna help you out. Oh, thank you. I'm gonna mess up your beautiful ring there. Park Place Jewelers. See what I did there? You're welcome, Dave. All right, hold that Thanks. to the side. There he is, another sea bass. She's called a nine inch fish, a 10 inch fish. I'm guessing this is probably 11. And from blue to blue is 12 and a half. 
And oh look, there's about an inch and a half left. <laughs> so one more will be 12, and then maybe she'll just put us over the 12 and a half inch size limit. Hooked on OC, we'll be right back. Whether it's a chart plot or fish finder combo for your inshore bay boat, or a complete electronics package including radar, plotter, thermal imaging camera, autopilot or sonar, East Coast Marine Electronics can handle it all. Veteran owned and operated, give Chad a call at 443-880-7206 or email at chad at eastcoastmarineelectronics.com. Unfortunately, the, the way I grew up, the longest one time I've ever been out of Worcester County is three weeks. This property that we're on right now, this 500 plus acres, is one of the nicest properties that I know of from a biological standpoint. Anytime somebody can, can save a forest like this, it's, a, it's critical. And now back for more Hooked on OC. Hey guys, welcome back to the show. Thank you for tuning in to Hooked on OC. We are at Atlantic Tackle now for the Angler's Advantage. And I am once again joined by Scott Castleberry. Good morning. Of Penn Abu Garcia. How you doing, man? Yeah, doing well. Really appreciate you being with us again. We're here to talk about some of the stuff that we're going to be getting into real, real soon. Flounder fishing here is starting up. Uh, the offshore season starts usually end of May, first part of June, so we're going to talk about some gulp products that we'll be using in the bay, and then some reels and things that we can be using offshore. So if you don't mind, man, let's talk about this stuff. Of what's new, uh, everybody knows the swimming mullet and the gulp yep. Berkeley products. What came uh, to the U.S. last year that kind of changed the face of flounder fishing was some of the new grubs and grub colors. Uh, the six-inch salmon red set records all up and down the east coast. Now we have the brand new five inch grub, perfect size for the flounders, uh, four standard colors in it now with four more coming this summer. Yeah. So for all the salmon red fanatics, you'll be able to get it this summer in the five inch. Right now you can get white glow, pink shine, nuke chicken and chartreuse here at Atlantic Tackle. Yeah, Michelle says that July the salmon red will be available in the five inch here at Atlantic Tackle. Sure will, they'll be one of the first to get it right Very here. Very good, okay. And those different grubs come in sizes for the, the pack, this pack, four count, five pack or count, depending on the size of the grub. And then they also come in half pint and pint sizes. So if you, if you fish a lot, like I do, I, I get the pint all the time because I want way more baits and I don't want to be restocking all the time. So you've got different options, different price points. We, we sure do, from $5.99 to $19.99. Gotcha. Uh, we, we can cover your angler needs. Yeah, the more you buy, the more you're gonna save as you get larger in the sizes. Exactly. You got products for keeping your reel maintained, right? If you do it at we home do. by yourself, they, you got stuff you can t take home, lubricate it, clean it. Sure can. They're, they're a very complete store here. If you need real cleaner, real oil, real grease, real covers to keep yeah. the salt spray off of it, they have it here. And speaking of reels, yeah. uh, brand new Spin Fisher Series 6, uh, new 2500 size, 15 pounds of drag, $139 retail. It's a great uh, price. Great reel, strongest 2500 we've ever made. And speaking of strength, for your offshore needs, they have all the slammers here, all the way to the 10,500 size, but this 6500 high speed, 
40 pounds of drag, 6 2 to 1 gear ratio, 299 retail, tremendous reel for tuna fishing, anything you want to do with it. Yeah, you're going to see lots of boats with this on there for their spinning stuff where they get on a school of mahi, dolphin, and they want to bail them. This is, you're going to have four or six of these come out of the salon you out in the sure cockpit can. and they're going to rip them around. And you'll see it in the surf as well. You'll yep, see a lot of surf go. guys using this size. And we offer it in an 8,500 size. We just got back from Costa Rica and we caught some big rooster fish down there. One of them was about 50 or so pounds. And this is the kind of stuff we were using. High speed's key for rooster fishing. Yeah. Uh, quicker you can bring the bait through the barrel, the harder that rooster is going to hit it. That led to part of the development of this reel. Gotcha. Fantastic. Thanks very much for joining Thank us again, you. Scott. We really appreciate it. Guys, you can get in touch with them here at Atlantic Tackle at AtlanticTackle.com or give them a call at 410-213-0421. They're at the east end of the Commercial Harbor, right on Sunset Avenue across from Sunset Grill. You can come and check out all the new products and this extensive line of gold products that you will see in my boot soon enough. We'll be right back after the break for some more Hooked on OC. See you in a second. Hooked on OC. We'll be right back. Sunset Provisions is Delmarva's largest marine supply retailer, stocking an unmatched selection of pumps, paints, hoses, cosmetic care products, and marine hardware. Featuring the absolute best brands in the industry, combine this unbelievable in-stock selection of top-name brands with super competitive pricing and a seasoned staff that can help you navigate your project. Make Sunset Provisions Delmarva's go-to marine supply store. So stop by or call today and see for yourself what makes Sunset Provisions the area's best marine supply store. Sunset Provisions is located in West Ocean City at Sunset Marina. You know Miller Lite only has one more calorie, right? Ah, and more taste! Good choice! At Spencer Yachts, your dreams can become a reality in a sport fishing yacht unequaled in style, performance, and value. Spencer Yachts has taken the Carolina style of boat building and transformed it into a world-class, high-performance sport fishing yacht. Spencer Yachts Brokerage is Spencer Yachts in-house trusted yacht broker with extensive market knowledge. New to Spencer Yachts Brokerage is the beautiful 77-foot Jarrett Bay Boatworks sport fish, Mama Who. Check out Mama Who and all that Spencer Yachts Brokerage has to offer at SpencerYachtsInc.com. Just what exactly does Okaya mean? Okaya means strength. Okaya means dependability. Okaya means value. Okaya means fishing. Check out the full line of Okaya rods, reels, and accessories at okaya.com and find out for yourself why thousands of customers around the world rely on Okaya fishing equipment. Because Okaya means business. Now back for more Hooked on OC. All right, guys, we've been hitting a couple of different spots here, and if you read the Fishing OC fish report at all, and you look at the reports from the angler, you're going to see this guy's facing there quite a bit. This is Ken Ewan. Uh, what's up, man? Right. What's happening? Good to see you. He's, this guy's a pro. I mean, he's always out here catching sea bass, catching some big flounder. He's got his limit of sea bass already. I think I've got zero keepers. Yeah, that's right. That's how it works in my family. <laughs> nice work, man. What are you doing different? You're casting out a little bit, doing a little retrieving. Jig. Jigging. Yep, jigging sometimes is the key when they get finicky like this. I think we're about to pull up on some uh, structure here and try some flounder fishing as well. And speaking of flounder, how big was that fish you caught on here a couple years ago? 10 pounds, 7 ten, ounces, ten, something like that. Over 10 pound flounder caught here on the angler a couple of years ago. I don't know if you know it or not, but you actually made it into my magazine. We did an article and we put Ken's picture in there because uh, I had written an article about flounder fishing and he caught the biggest one I saw that summer, 10 pounds, 7 ounces. But that's just goes to show you the kind of fish you can see on some of the structure out here off of Ocean City. Usually starts this time of year, middle, late June, start catching some fish around the wrecks, switches from sea bass fishing over to flounder fishing. Right now we're kind of in the interim doing both, catching a couple of sea bass. He's already caught a limit of them 
We're going to switch it up here and see if we can catch a couple flounder as we move on throughout the afternoon. But beautiful afternoon, beautiful day here on the water. You guys are having a good time, right? Everyone's Wonderful having a pretty time. good time. Beautiful. Awesome time, beautiful weather, beautiful. great crowd. Crew is awesome, and we got some fish in the boat too, so it's a bonus. Pretty work, bro. Thanks Thank you. again, man. Thank you. Oh, yeah. Getting close, jeez. There's plenty of keeper fish coming up around the rail, but we can't seem to get into them. The Lennoxes are over so far. Owen's got a couple of keepers. I can't seem to get that fish 12 and a half inches. It's just short, 11 or so maybe. Ken just caught a dandy probably, maybe 19 inches, 20 inches. But there's plenty of fish coming up over the rail, so can't complain about that. Just keep dropping down and reel them up. We're not gonna be greedy, we only need a couple. Good job. Ryan, get your rod out to the right a little bit. There you go. Better fish? Yeah, well, it definitely has more of a fight than uh, any of the others. Well, you got nine, you got ten, you got eleven. Somebody's, hey, somebody's lying. Hey. Oh, it's tangled up. Okay. Oh, the pot. Hey, hey, Chris, you got this pot over here. Everybody at once. So let's have a party. Get yours out there quick. Right here. 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 Right What do you know, an 11 incher? Uh -huh. <laughs> it, feels, it feels heavier than the Ryan, other you got ones. One? Come on, man. Come on, Ryan. Get it, bud. Should I drop them? Yeah. This is the nurse. You got two. Oh, you got big. Oh, you got a double header. Yeah, yeah pull them up, right? Nice, dude. Nice. Good the job. That one close. looks like a keeper. Good job, bud. Yeah. Let's see this one. That one's a keeper, brother. Yeah. Nice. All right, let's give a quick check. Yeah, bro. <laughs> there you go. I put the pressure on you, man. I put the pressure on you. I said, hey, these these kids get together, and that's what they do. They say, hey, can he, can Owen spend the night? Hey, can Ryan spend the night? I was like, look, bro, if you catch a fish, maybe Owen can spend the night. Should have kept my mouth shut. Just kidding. I did a fish on awesome one. You, Scotty. Yeah, come on, let's go. She just called me Scotty. That's what happens when we get on the boat. <laughs> get down, right? This one's going in the cooler. Nice work. Look at that. These fish are gorgeous when they get like this. That's why I call them knot heads. You hear people refer to them as knot heads. This is why. He gets that bump on the top of his head. That's a male. He's all fired up. The purple and blue up here in his head. Don't be alarmed. It's his swim bladder there. He's popped out because he came up from the bottom. That pressure change. Beautiful black sea bass. And these things are absolutely delicious. Another there you go, short bro. Again. There you, go. you want one too, Owen? He's on too. Come on, man. Let's go. We just hit the hot spot, guys. Oh my good goodness. Good job. Owen, you got a good one too? Yeah. For that rod not bending at all, that's a good one. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Get it, boy. Oh, hey, I just got sea bass to the boat. Oh, I think I finally got a keeper, y'all. He's been really hard. <laughs> nice, man. Here we go. Owen's got one bent in a rod Woo! over there, too. Yes. Come on, Owen. Let's see here. Come on, hon. Did you get him? Yeah, I think I had oh, yeah. oh, oh, yeah. oh, stud, Owen. Nice. Yeah, we got a keeper. Yeah. Way to go. Yes, yes, yes. Look at this one. Get it back down. Dude, we have maybe this this might be a fish pool contender. I don't know. I haven't seen any Ken's fish. Okay, pull that hook out there up. Good, I got the fish. Just pull it, pull it out. There you go. It's out. Just pull it towards you. Beautiful. Look at this, man. Yeah, I brought the right crew. I can't catch poo, but 
These guys just did. Kristen's on another one. Look at this. Look at this garbage. Boom. Get her. Get on up here. Get those lines out. I'm trying. Watch your foot. Oh, another keeper. That's not a keeper. Don't talk too soon. Oh, sorry. I look bigger in the water. You're catching fish because you're able to fish. Let me come over here. Please be a keeper after I just said that. No dice. She's learning the rules as we go. Don't speak too soon. Don't speak too soon. Still a nice fish, but. Another double. Crazy. That bottom one might, that do, bottom it. One might do it. I totally meant to catch it. Yeah, bro. Ryan, just turn around and smile a little Oh, yeah. Bit. Yeah, good. Get your arm out of your way, your face. <laughs> yeah. yeah. All right, let's see what we got here. Super. Look at this. There's a difference of the female and the male on the same hook, I'm pretty sure. That's a female. Fish about the same size. That's the male with the knot head and the blue color on the top of the head. See, the female is a little bit more bland color. She's more the brownish fish, and the, and the uh, male is more black with that, that shiny head. Awesome sea bass here. Got this one good. They just did that themselves. I didn't even. Yeah, he's, all, he's got a. Oh, look, it went through his lip. Okay. Right on the. Like, all right, man. Captain Chris said that's that's it. We're done. What a flurry there at the end, man. It turned on what I would call hot and heavy. We went from I think two keepers in the box to more like 15 or 18 keepers in the box. So about 15, 20 minutes. We're gonna be in the back of the boat here. Anybody that thinks they have a fish for the fish pool in contention, they're looking at about 180 bucks and a little added swag for them. Compliments of Brendan Hanley over there, Pure Lure Gear. Fish pool winner's gonna get this in, in, in as well, and they don't even know it yet. So we'll go get the fish pool, finish up with Captain Chris, tell you guys how you get on board. Yeah! Get out of the saddle! Get out of the saddle! <laughs> <laughs> the Peloton jokes won't oh, stop, man. It. Peloton buddies here, us and Jeep Gal. Uh, his wife, my wife, and the two of us ride the Peloton, and we joke about it all the time, but Looking good, man, right? Yeah, yeah. Right? Yep. Good smell. Just gotta get Captain Kane on it now. Get Kane, get on this Peloton, <laughs> will you, man? Come on, you're probably flying by us. Um, dude, awesome day. Yeah, it started. Awesome day. Started a little tough. I mean, we, uh, yeah, we still went to catching a, fish. Hell yeah, catching yeah. funny. But uh, we went to an area where we caught some flounders yesterday, but they didn't want to no cooperate man. this morning, so made a little move and yep. turned out all right. It turned out. Bad. It turned out real good. We were, uh, we, we stopped at that first spot where he said he, he caught those flounder yesterday. It was in the fish report last night. I saw it firsthand. No tide, and I don't think that helps things. Yeah. Man. Got you got you got no movement at all. Flounder don't like that kind of stuff. Um, sea bass don't mind it. Flounder, they got to have stuff moving by, and we weren't moving yeah. at all. Sitting yeah. still. Sitting still most of the yeah. day. A couple of sea bass came over the rail, and man, Ken, Ken is a sea bass slayer, dude. He was throwing the jig out and jigging it back to the boat. You saw a little while ago, he had his limit probably in the first hour and a half to two hours of the trip. While I think I had zero keepers in the boat at the time. Uh, we had one or two, and then Captain Chris said we made a little move to the hot spot, dude, and it just turned on. What a blast. Yep. Um, thank you very much for letting us have a family sure. on here, David. Had a great time. Anytime. I want to have a fish fry, fish fry tonight. Um, how do people get on board on the angler? You got a phone number and all yeah, that kind can, of stuff. Uh, you can book online. Yeah, you can book online at anglerocnet or uh, get the restaurant a call at 410-289-7424. Yep. Uh, and you're July, right. Yeah, July 1st we start our regular, our normal trip, six and a half hours. Okay. Uh, eight hour trips on the weekends. Uh, maybe do some little bit longer trips throughout the summer, ten yes. hour trips. Yeah. Gotcha. See gotcha. how it goes. People be looking for those kind of things. Yeah. Right on. All right, you heard him, guys. Get on, get online. You can book directly through the website. The trip will be updated, so it'll tell you what time it is, what the cost is, what seats are available, all that good stuff. So get online and get on board. We're going to hold our fish up for a little camera shot here in just a second and close out the show, but awesome day, bro. Thanks very much. Always a pleasure, man. Thank you. Hooked on OC. We'll be right back.
Red Sun Custom Apparel opened for business in Ocean City, Maryland with the mission of providing total customer satisfaction. Our philosophy is simple. Offer a wide selection of leading products at competitive prices and provide high quality customer service seven days a week. Our customers place orders with confidence knowing they will be completed on time and accurate according to the high standards Red Sun Custom has quickly become known for. Call us today for all of your promotional needs. And now back for more Hooked on OC. All right, absolutely awesome day of sea bass fishing here on the angle with Captain Chris and our mates Steve and Rich. Fabulous fishing, a couple of spots early on. Flounder didn't really produce, got a couple of fish in the boat. Cannon won the fish pool and Steve split it with 2.4 pounds. Really, really awesome day. Excellent eating fish. We are going to devour these things. You guys all have a good time? Hey. It was fun, yeah. What do you think about the angle, Captain Chris? Right? Oh, yeah, man. Yep, everybody had an awesome time. Really recommend you getting out on here on the local party boats, folks. You can check out check out all the details about these guys. Fishingoc.com. We sell the rigs at fishingoc.com. All new episodes of this show and every show are at hookedonoc.com. We appreciate you watching every single week. Thanks very much. Stay tuned next time. Here comes the cash. Yeah, here comes the cash. Yeah. <laughs> right on. Folks, see you next time for another edition of Hooked on OC. Peace out.